wow, it seems I pissed some of y'all off. So for you little stinkers who want to come on here and act like I am being inappropriate or trying to s stir up some kind of crap, let's logically, rationally, and with knowledge, look at this issue. The highest ranked drug overdoses for our generations are in the category of like the 25 to 35 year olds. That is the most drug overdoses taking place in our history, in our, right now, in society. He's in the bad spot, okay? Look at Tennessee. Tennessee has some of the highest numbers. And guess what? 25 to 34 and 35 to 44, those are the highest. He's right in the danger zone. I'm just being aware. I'm saying, hey, I see things that link up. I see things, that, see things that concern me, and I'm going to point them out. Because benzodiazepines, like Xanax and stimulants like Adderall, account for more than 700 to 900 overdoses annually. Because people don't understand the drug and how it works in the brain. They think, oh, it's fun. It works. It gives me something great. How can it be bad? Well, it can be bad because it can absolutely screw up the structure of your brain and change the way that you emo emotionally regulate yourself. So you go into a dysregulation mode, which causes your world to fall apart, which most fans seem to enjoy watching. I don't because I'm not a masochist. These are also things that if you don't use Adderall appropriately, it can cause. So any inappropriate, inadvertent, misuse, off-label use, if your doctor didn't prescribe it that way, these are things that can happen. It needs to be monitored very closely. It can have physical ramifications as well as cerebral ramifications, neurological ramifications. See, as long as the doses is correct, the medication should not affect your personality or sense of humor. But when it's not, look, it creates all these issues. Guess what? I'm seeing a lot of similar issues. And because I care, I want to say, hey, yo, you mentioned this. You put this information out on the internet. I am trying to reach you and say, could this potentially be a problem for you? Because there are other issues going on with this medication. This medication is very lethal if not used appropriately and monitored by a physician. You have to be super careful. And it's, it's very odd for me to see people be so lackadaisical about like misuse of medication. But the fact that he's also pairing it with THC and shrooms can also augment the way it neurologically affects his brain. And so the chemical compounds could be completely off. So, hey, I'm just concerned. He put the information on the internet. If you want to say, oh, you should stop talking about Ryan using drugs, I have not said Ryan uses drugs. I've only stated what Ryan states he says he uses. So stop putting words in my mouth and stop trying to feel like you're some kind of knight coming to his rescue. You are enjoying watching this happen. It's called cognitive dissonance. Your attitude and what, what you think you are is a complete lie compared to your actions. So while you all think you're great fans, your actions eating up this behavior when he is in a highly emotional state tells me that, oh, look, I would rather enjoy the entertainment value than say, oh, are you okay? That's because most of us would rather have comforting lies as to get in the line for the unpleasant truths. Well, I'm going to get in the line for the unpleasant truths. And you know something? I love Ryan. If he has a problem, I'm here for him, no matter what it is. I don't want to enjoy it.